I imagined that my first trip to outer space was going to be a memorable one. I didn't expect it to be quite this memorable. Astronaut Nick Haig and cosmonaut Alexei Ovchinin were two minutes into their climb to orbit, traveling at four times the speed of sound when their Soyuz rocket failed. It went from normal to something was wrong pretty quick. A strap-on booster apparently crashed into the side of the rocket's central booster and burst into a cloud of debris. The automatic abort system detected trouble and threw the crew's capsule up and away. The first thing I really noticed was being uh, shaken fairly violently side to side as that uh, safety system pulled us away from the rocket. You're a little bit startled uh, and then I saw the booster failure light inside the capsule and at that point you know I realized hey we're not going to make it to orbit today. A crew member aboard the space station caught the moment on camera. If you look closely you can see the Soyuz capsule nearly reaching the edge of space before gravity pulled it back down to earth. There was a point where I looked out the window and I, I saw the curve of the earth out there and the, and the blackness of space and it was a bittersweet, you know, fleeting uh, moment knowing that I got that close. You know, what can you do? Sometimes uh, you don't get a vote. Haig and Ovchinin landed safely in Kazakhstan about 250 miles from the launch site. The two were treated to a snack and a medical checkup before being reunited with their families, including Haig's wife. Katie. I got to tell you that when we finally got to hug each other coming down off the plane, it was a bit of release for both of us. The emotions that we'd been kind of holding back just to stay focused on the, on the situation. As for the boys, my youngest, God bless him, he looks at me and he goes, Dad, when are you going back to space? Well, Hague says he wants to fly again, but doesn't know when he will get another chance.